Hello everybody and welcome on board this Dutch motor cruiser, nine meters, for a look around her interior to see her layout, what's fitted, and if her layout may suit you. So as you can see, we're looking inside a cabin. Now this is the aft cabin, so we're looking towards the, the starboard quarter here. And as you can see, we've got a lovely, great big, looks like a full-size double bed to me. Now this is lying on the deck in the cabin. So there's not a great deal of headroom down here, but uh, when you're in here, you're only going to be really sleeping anyway. So it's a bit of a crouch once you, once you get in, but then if you're straight into bed, all snuggled up, no worries. Now we do have uh, three nice windows, two big ones, one small one, so plenty of light coming in here as you as you can see the the decor means that it does feel really nice and light down here despite the darker wood so lovely on the starboard side you've got a couple of long shelves there there's a nice big mirror on the forward bulkhead there so that really gives the illusion of space down here so all in all a nice cabin just looking on the port side here you can see we've got so what is pretty much an empty space so you could probably locate some drawers or a cupboard on top of this varnish wood if you like but uh, the two locker lids here give access down to the build so there's room down there for more storage as well uh, and also that all important access to the bilge as we walk around you'll notice we do have fire extinguishers and we do have double sockets everywhere with your all important uh, modern usb charging facilities for those children with, with their phones etc so really nice cabin and quite an unusual unusual companionway in that it uh, it closes like a normal companionway. We have the door that closes. We have a piece of wood that attaches over here. Now, this is all here. It's all put out of the way because, basically, if you want to have the nice, long, athwart chip sofa here, which does look lovely if you look at the photos, we just basically close away the after, aft cabin, put it away for the day, put range the cushions and the wooden pieces across here, and you've got a lovely, great, big, long lounger. But uh, I've just taken that out of the way for the purposes of this tour. Now just moving forward a little bit on the starboard side, we're in the main wheelhouse now. As you can see, what a place. We've got these massive, massive windows. We've got lovely great big uh, sliding accesses, port and starboard, so they're, they're both open at the moment, giving me lots of nice fresh air. We can see out onto the aft deck there, so we can communicate with the, uh, with the helm there, because this window opens. Uh, very, very nice indeed, but uh, it's giving us that uh, feeling of height above the rest of the boat, if we're in the marina, and lots of feeling of light flooding in air circulating etc etc and if we're steer, steering from in here then we've got a really great view for looking out at sea so uh, number five of those coral regs always keep a lookout at sea we can do that very easily on this boat we can see forwards we can see backwards and to both sides very nice the companion ways are very easy nice and easy to get to that's the, the starboard one we'll look at the port one in a moment we have cupboards either side as well so lots of room for bits and pieces underneath us here we have the uh, the engine that uh, that starts well uh, somewhat hindered with access with the, the floor covering but that comes up and gives you access straight down there to the starboard side starboard forward of the wheelhouse we've got the the wheel obviously some electrics underneath we've got uh, a a wire a, a usb charging section here engine hours counter uh i think this is a compass here and we've got engine temperature engine uh, oil pressure battery charging etc etc and we have the throttle here as well and just uh, forward of us which isn't really helping with section five is the corex it's a lovely great big flat screen tv but that looks like it's not permanently put in there so we should be able to see through the window which is directly in front of it so very nice indeed and actually it does feel nice in here there has been a lot of work going on in here i can smell nice new varnishy painty smells and it does look like a nice place to be and as mentioned the big windows the high coach roof etc makes it a good place to be but let's carry on forwards and have a look inside as we go through the coach through the companion way one two three steps down very nice and easy to get through we've got two doors that close together to give you privacy and security if you want them but there's the steps really nice and easy a bit of storage underneath there too on the starboard side we've got the the linear galley and it is a long linear galley actually as you can see so we're starting off in the in the after end here with a nice big work surface we've got cupboards all the way underneath somewhere here for a cooker that uh, isn't there at the moment what should we see in here i haven't looked in here yet oh that's just more storage in there probably the bin for brilliant behind that we've got storage for cups plates etc etc and moving along we've got this sink with a, a draining unit we've got shelves outboard another nice big uh, work surface forward and again we've got the nice sockets there with the usb chargers in etc and underneath the sink and the rest of the galley we've got lots and lots of storage for all your bits and pieces there so plenty of room for one or two for a weekend or longer i think or much longer now looking forward from the galley 
you can see we've, we're, we've got the, the what we would call the forward cabin or the sleeping area is is all in one area which is brilliant so you've got great comms between bed and the galley but uh headroom down here probably about six feet i'm five foot nine and i'm nowhere near the ceiling yet so that's pretty good you can see the uh, the headlining effect there very nice nice big windows again down here so we can see out and lord it over everybody else because we're a little bit higher and also whilst we're doing the washing we can enjoy ourselves too but uh, when we're asleep we'll be in here or the after cabin so here we've got a monumentally large bed plenty of room obviously the there's limited headroom under here but the chances are you'd be uh, lying the other way around anyway but that would be possibly up to you but a lovely great big bed and cut into it is this uh, massive great big cupboard i think this is just uh, empty space so that would be your hanging locker for your suits your dresses your longer items of wear etc and then moving along to the port side you can see we've got another area which is i suppose would be termed as part of the galley we've got the water heater here lovely great big lovely great big one and we've got a nice sized fridge here as well with i think we've got a freezer compartment at the top as well so really really handy and then we've got the sideboard for whatever you would want to use a sideboard for making drinks chopping cucumbers whatever and a nice shelf above it as well now, just coming back, we've got a slightly unusual setup here. Well, it's not unusual, but it is unusual in the way that you can see through it. So we've got a, 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 a heads compartment with no head in it, but it is a shower compartment. So we've got nice rolling doors there. So if you're not worried about privacy, then you've got a lovely, great big shower area there. We've got uh, hanging rails here as well for uh, for oil skins etc etc we have an opening window to allow uh, moisture out etc and you can see in there we've got a proper shower unit so quite nice and unexpected on a boat of this size i don't think it would be too much of a problem putting a head back in there that might uh, help the boat along but um, if you wanted privacy i think that just uh, a curtain rail mounted in here would help in fact we've got a curtain rail here so we could put uh, the shower curtain on there that gives you your privacy otherwise you could just uh, perhaps replace it with a wooden bulkhead and a door or whatever may suit your needs no worries but it is nice and light and bright and airy in there as well and plenty of room not uh one of these claustrophobic boat toilet stroke uh, shower compartments very good and then uh, just finishing off really coming up to the uh, port side through the companionway again nice and easy great big windows everywhere we've got uh, what i would term a nav station um somewhere for your chart nice deep cupboard there as well for all your bits and pieces in there and uh, moving into the saloon we've got uh, stowage to port we've got a lovely great big saloon table here which is kind of um it's it's installed so sort of puts out of action the the port uh the port sliding door here but that could uh, that can be changed i think it just needs the two screws taking out but uh, either way if you wanted to clamper through here you could and over the table because it looks strong enough to me uh but generally speaking i think you'd be using the port access but it is really nice to have such a lovely great big saloon table there in the middle of the saloon and uh, somewhere to sit and eat at so when this table sorry when this uh, sofa is fully extended out you've got the two seats here so you could sit, easily sit two there and two here on separate chairs i think and uh, have a lovely dinner. So that completes the tour of the interior of this uh, nine meter Dutch motor cruiser. If you'd like any more information, just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos, and virtual reality. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we hope to see you again. Take care.